you know, we were talking about how you said your team needs to want to be better than Syracuse. They were tonight. What do you think of the effort? It was a really good effort. I mean, they're, they're a really good team. I have a tremendous amount of respect for Syracuse. Their players, their staff, how they play. Um, and playing Syracuse, I've said this over and over, playing Syracuse and Utica as much as we have over the last three years has forced our young teams to grow up. Um, and, and, you know, that was – we've had some real good games against them, but tonight, uh, we, you know, I think we did a lot of good things, and uh, I think we earned that victory. How much of that victory belongs to Brett Murray? Oh, he was a beast tonight. You know, it was, uh, it was a challenge to, to Cooley, Rosie, and Murr to, to go against uh, the Barbara Lay line. That's not an easy task for any line, and, and certainly with, with two young, young players on that line. And, and uh, I thought they were excellent. Uh, Murray was a beast. I thought Cooley was outstanding, even though he wasn't on the score sheet tonight. And Rosie, I thought Rosie was dominant at times tonight, um, both in his playmaking, his attack, his penalty kill, um, had a couple chances on the PK, obviously set up the game winner. Um, so that, that line was, was outstanding for us. Those are guys that you'll often have in your lineup every game. Graham Slagger has been in and out quite a bit. So what did it mean for him to contribute, get the minutes he got, and then a big third period goal? Yeah, that was awesome. Um, you know, he's been working his tail off. He's, he's uh, an undercover kind of glue guy for our team. Everybody on the team really loves him. He's friends throughout the, the roster. Um, a tremendous work ethic and character. And, and uh, he's just been getting better and better. And the opportunities aren't always there in the American League uh, with, when we have so many young guys as we do at times. Um, you know, but he earned the promotion tonight. Um, like last week in Belleville, he was really physical. His penalty kill was excellent. And he agitated Crookshank so much that Crookshank fought him, and then and then he and then Slags won the fight. Um, you know, you, as a coach, you 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 have to reward those things. Um, and he earned that reward tonight to move up in the lineup, and then and then he delivered. And, and what a play by Weisbach! Uh, you know that that's to dive to make that play. You know, just shows uh, you know this group is really forming into a team that wants to play for each other, and, and uh, that's a good example of that. And that's had a pretty good weekend in Belleville and then gets the OT winner tonight. Uh, you and I were talking about him earlier in the week. Uh, is this another one where he just comes in clutch? Yeah. Um, th he was uh, – that, that was a really good play there at the end. I liked – I like the poise. He was in that same position um, against Belleville in overtime at home a month ago, three weeks ago, whatever it was. And, uh, you know, he, he didn't have as much deception as I thought he had tonight with the same situation. Um, and because he had the deception when he originally got the puck, he put their, our opponent in a bad spot when he delivered it back to Rosie, which just opened him right back up. So. Um, but that's bets. He can process information and then, and then try to apply it to his game. Seem to be attacking more speed tonight than you have the basketball time. Seems that part of the game plan? Yeah, I mean, that's an advantage we have. Uh, not that they're slow, but, but they're a bigger, heavier physical team. They're very structured, so they're very comfortable sitting back in that 1 1 3 in the neutral zone, uh, sitting on top of you with their really good defensive gaps. And, you know, that's something we really emphasized. And we haven't had a lot of practice time the last month, but we did this week, was that when we get moments to play fast and to force them out of structure, you have to take advantage of it. Because as good defensively as they are, they're not out of structure all that often. Um, and I thought we did a good job of put ourselves in some foot races and obviously got a lot of odd men rushes and breakaways because of that. Well, I mean, I think we've been really good at home. I mean, we lost two games. We held them to 14 and 18 shots on goal. We lost the last game. You know, we're up 2 nothing. It's 2-2 two, two attempts to go in the game. So um, I think they have a very veteran, mature team with some really elite players. And I think they've found ways to be better than us in big moments down the stretch. That's really what it's come down to uh, in the home games. And so... You know, tonight, and they did that again tonight. Um, they made a big play, and, and uh, they tied it up there. Um, but I liked, I did like our calmness after they tied it. The last four minutes wasn't helter-skelter for us, panicking. Um, we went back on the attack. We drew a power play. We played 
poised down the stretch and then obviously made a really good play in overtime. How does a win like this develop that momentum? Did you just see this, this team two more times in the next three games? Um, momentum only lasts as long as your next shift, right? So it's a really good win. What I told our guys today is like, block out the noise and the standings and how many games left and did Toronto win or did Utica win or Laval or whoever it is and just put all of your focus and effort into one game and then learn from it and wash it and then just get ready for the next game. So kind of building off what you just said, did tonight kind of have that playoff feel to it? Yeah, but I think the last you know, 10 plus games have already had that. You know, I mean, every game we've had with them recently has been, you know, no time and space, hard to create scoring chances. The games with Belleville were like that. The game with Hershey was like that. So um, I think that this is the North Division. I said that to Vinny and Pacer uh, a couple times this week. I was like, welcome to the North. It, it's, the it standings are tight. There's no bad teams. And you have to fight for everything you get. Um, and playoffs the last two years have kind of started with 25, 30 games remaining. Um, and, and it's the same this year. And, you know, it wasn't the busiest night for Devin Levi, but how did you feel he played? You know, he was solid, but I think it was more of our team defense. Um, you know, I thought our team defense was really strong tonight. A lot of that because we attacked well. Uh, the best way to play defense is to have the puck. And we, we force more turnovers, one more puck battles, one more face-offs. And when you do that, like when they win more puck battles and face-offs with how strong and heavy they are, they can kind of suffocate you and slow the game down. Um, we did a better job of that, not perfect. So we had the puck a little more, which allowed us to play faster. Shall we? Um, Rosane played with him in Lexan. Uh, Rosie speaks really highly of him, both as a player um, and as a person. So that's, that's a great sign. Um, I, I coached against him internationally when he played for Sweden. Um, you know, other than that, don't have a lot of familiarity other than good conversation today. You know, I think that, you know, sometimes you, you need a fresh start. You know, and a new organization can do that for you. And it can jumpstart, you know, your career. And, um, you know, obviously Cali uh, will come in here. We'll get him in at some point tomorrow and, you know, get him integrated into our team. And uh, obviously we have, a, we have a pretty good decor right now with, with, with RJ down as well. Um, you know, so we're going to have a lot of options there. And physicality, you crunch are one of the most physical teams on the schedule. What can you say about your team's physicality? Yeah, I thought our physical play was strong tonight. Um, you know, I thought Brendan Warren, um, Graham Swaggart had a couple big, big hits tonight, you know, and, and Stillman was really physical tonight. So, you know, I like that uh, they're built bigger and more physical than we are, uh, but I thought we had a lot of pushback physically tonight, which was good to see. And then overtime, you guys lead the leading overtime this season. How does that help you guys when you come into situations like this? Feels like we've led the league in overtime three straight years. Um, so, you know, I guess, you could look at it good or bad. Is it, is it bad that we haven't put teams away or is it good that we've given ourselves a chance to win so many different times, right? So, and then you, we have gone through it. They beat us twice in overtime a month ago or whatever it was. And, you know, you can learn from some of those mistakes that you made. Um, you know, you start like the face-off, right? And Richie won a big face-off there and then he gets off the ice, but that's a huge face-off. Now we get to start overtime with possession. And um, so, you know, you just, we're a young team, you, you always are trying to learn and get better. Um, and, and obviously, the more you're in those situations, the calmer you can handle those situations. Is Ryan Johnson going to be in the lineup uh, tomorrow Sunday? Uh, likely. Yeah, likely.